Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make mittens. These are just fleece mittens with a free sewing pattern. Please like this video and follow my channel for all sorts of fun sewing projects. This mitten pattern uses fleece, so you can use fleece, like polar fleece, sweatshirt fleece, or French terry. It comes in kid sizes from toddler all the way up to adult. There's three adult sizes. I have tried it on all three of my kids and myself, and um, I've worked on the pattern. There's been a couple different variations, but I'm happy with where it's at. These are not like snow mittens. They're not for like getting wet, but they are perfect for keeping your hands warm when it's cold. They're nice and roomy, so you can fit a little hand warmer in there if you want. This is a great gift project. You can make it for stocking stuffers or just to wrap under the tree. You can make, like if my daughter wants to make them for her friends, she can make a couple to share with her friends. So it's a great little gift. It uses just a little bit of fleece, so it can use up all of your fleece scraps. I made the cuff pretty long because I hate when my cuff comes out of my coat when I'm, you know, outside and doing things. And so, and especially my children always complain when the cuff comes out. So I made the cuff long enough to stay under a jacket. So let's get started. For this project, you're going to need the pattern cut out in the size you want to make. Um, you're going to need polar fleece or French terry or sweatshirt fleece for the main part of the mittens. And then for the cuff, you are going to want to use rib knit fabric. My favorite rib knit fabric is from Joanne Fabrics because it has a really great recovery and it comes in lots of different colors. When you are cutting out your mitten pieces, you need to make sure you're paying attention to um, the stretch of the fabric. So you line it up um, so that your mitten will stretch around your hand. So the first thing is cut out two of every one of the mitten pieces and then cut out two um, cuff pieces. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take your fleece, um, the top, these are the front pieces, the pieces that have the thumbs, and you are going to match them up right sides together. You are matching the upper piece with the lower piece. Make sure you're doing it right sides together. I'm matching up the sides and around the thumb. So you're going to pin this seam. So you're going to sew this seam with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Use either a serger or a zigzag. You go up around the thumb. Then when you get here, you stop and pivot and come out. This part right here is actually the seam for when you sew it to the other side of the mitten. And so you do need to come across, but it doesn't need to be a curve like this. you're going to open this. It doesn't matter at the moment where the thumb is, um, but we are going to place the back on with right sides together. So you're going to match up the bottom, up around the curve, and make sure that this seam allowance is pointing up since when you wear it your thumb is more often than not going up towards your fingers. If you're worried about the thumb getting caught, you can kind of pin it into the middle so it's kind of out of the way. Now 
you are going to sew around like this on each one with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Use either a zigzag or a serger and backstitch when you start and when you stop. You can trim any of these curves if you think it's going to be annoying and bulky, but then you can turn it right side out and make sure you poke the thumb out. You're gonna come around the top and kind of push on those curves to push it all out. So you can try the mitten on if you want to see how it feels. This actually feels really good. Now you are going to prepare the cuff. So the cuff stretches this way and it's almost, you know, depending on the size might feel like a square because we want this to be so long, but you're going to match up. This is the, like it's stretching this way. So we're matching up these two edges. You're gonna do the same to the other one. So pin these sides. You're going to sew this edge with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and you are going to backstitch when you start and when you stop. You can use a zigzag stitch or a serger. Now the last step, you are going to take your cuffs and fold it so it's wrong sides together. You're enclosing the seam inside and bringing up the two other edges up to meet. So you're kind of creating a tube. Do the same to the other one. Now you take your mittens. So I want the seam of the cuff to be on this outer edge so it's not right um, on the inside. I'm going to push that seam out so it's all on one side. It doesn't really matter which side it goes on. And then you are going to slide it onto the mittens so that the bottom of the mitten is lining up with the raw edge of the cuff. You're going to pin that together. Um, it will help if your cuff seam allowances are going the opposite way of your mitten. So it's slightly less bulky. And then you are going to stretch and pin around the edge. You're going to sew this seam with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. You can use a zigzag stitch or a serger. Once the cuff has been sewn on, you can pull it down and you can try on your mittens. And that's how you make mittens using a free sewing pattern. I can't wait to see all of the mittens that you make. Please share them with me on social media. Check out this playlist with Christmas sewing projects and handmade gift ideas. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day.